We should recognize what I think is true, I've written about it plenty myself, that the Bolshevik revolution, so-called revolution, it was really a coup, was really a counter-revolution, which uh, uh, placed state power in the hands of a highly authoritarian anti-socialist group, which within a couple of months had destroyed the factory councils, had destroyed the Soviets, had dismissed the constituent assembly because they knew they were going to lose, uh, and had eliminated every popular movement and had done exactly what Trotsky said, turned the country into a labor army under the control of the maximal leader. That was mid-1918. I mean, since then, there hasn't been a shred of socialism in the Soviet Union. Now, of course, they called it socialism, but they also called it democracy. You know, they were people's democracies, the purest form of democracy. They were socialism. The, left, the West, the big propaganda system in the world, of course, just laughed at the democracy part, but it loved the socialism part because that's a way to defame socialism. So if you think that the fall of the Soviet Union uh, is a blow to socialism, you ought to also think on the same grounds that it's a blow to democracy. After all, they call themselves democracies too, so why isn't it a blow to democracy? It makes as much sense. It's only when it gets filtered through the Western propaganda system that it's not a blow to democracy, but it is a blow to socialism. But you know, there's absolutely no reason to play that game, whether you play it in dissent or in the nation or on the right or anywhere else. Expose it for the fraud that it is. His comment that the ideology was flawed. What ideology? The ideology of totalitarianism? Yeah, it's deeply flawed. I mean, they were the initial modern totalitarians. It's not has nothing to do with socialism. They destroyed socialism within weeks. You know, they didn't wait. By 1918, it was finished. And they knew it. You know, like it's not a secret. They knew it. I mean, in fact, Lenin, as soon as, you know, as soon as he sort of got grips of things after he said, let's, we, he moved to what he called state capitalism, which is what it was. It had nothing to do with socialism. Socialism, I mean, you can argue about what, there's no point arguing what the word means, but what it always meant at the core was that uh, producers take control of production, you know, working people take control of production, what's sometimes called industrial democracy. That was the absolute core of it. Well, you know, there was more socialism in Germany, in Western Europe, than there was in Russia. You know, Russia's about the most anti-socialist place you can imagine since 1918. Had wage labor, had super exploitation, uh, had no element of workers' control or involvement or participation. I mean, it's just pure, you know, what's it got to do with socialism? It's the exact opposite on every point. As I say, the West liked to call that socialism while laughing at the fact that they called themselves Democrats. But that's for purely propaganda reasons. I mean, unless you're committed to being part of the Western propaganda system, there's nothing to say about that issue of dissent except to laugh.